Hello YouTube, I'm back here with a review of the latest Dimex application. I've done previously a Dimex um, review of uh, Dimex but for previous version and now the, the application got um, uh, more features and, and improved um, quite a lot so I thought I'm going to do a review and also in last time I didn't go over how to connect it from the scratch so I'll start with this and um, not how to connect it, how to um, how to basically pair it, and and I'm gonna go over that, and then just over the the interface a bit. And if you need some more in-depth information, just drop me a message in the comment section, and I'll get back to you, or I'll record the, on request uh, another video if uh, something is unclear or there's something that you really want to know. So I'm just gonna go quickly over this. I've got two lights, similar setup as I had them uh, in in the previous video. Um, apart from I'm not I, I've run out of socket, so I'm going to power the Dimex controller uh, from my power bank rather than from USB charger. I mean, it could be any sort of um, um, sort of power. Um, so it could be laptop or uh, power break or anything. So quickly I'm going to connect the Dimex into my moving head and from moving head I'm going to daisy chain to my RGB light. So I'm just going to run a cable uh, across. I'm sure you guys know it. It's a standard DMX lighting and this and in DMX you can... Uh, let me just keep this alive. In DMX you can just daisy chain lights and, uh, and and basically control them as they in daisy chain. So let's let's do it quickly. I'm gonna connect the um, I'm connect the Dimex. So one side USB, second side XLR. Okay, and now I'm just gonna run XLR from from the line onto my. RGB light. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, my screen is recording. Hopefully, so you're gonna be able to see this somewhere on the right hand side. Okay, let's just go to Bluetooth settings, and I'm gonna search for the controller. Okay, I've got seven devices. You normally gonna get the 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 code and you're gonna know where to connect. So in my case is this one and the pairing code is one, two, three and four. Upper is okay. And that's pretty much it. I can exit um, and now I'll just open the application. Um Dimax and here I can enter the code that was supplied to me or I can do it the easier way. I mean for me it's easier. Just go to the cogwheel, uh, I'll go to manual connection, then I select uh, the uh, the address and I'm connected. So, uh, one, if I'm moving um, fader one, it basically turns the light uh, red and turns the moving head from right to left. Um, because they're on the same channel, I'm going to change the channel later on. So. So you get an idea, but also what I wanted to show you, I already went away from the screen, so I'm just close this again. And um, here in this cog world, there's a new button, it's a new feature, um, stay alive. So if I click this, the screen will never dim and it never go to sort of sleep mode. So it always keep the, uh, um, the application alive. Okay, so I just let this, um, let this be, sort of alive and because we already paired with the device and we already entered the uh, uh, the ID sorry the the MAC address or the serial number uh, all I have to do is just click connect I don't need to go through uh, from the binding process again so okay I'll just change this because one two three is occupied by my um, uh, by my RGB so I want this one to start on channel 4 so hopefully that does it so here in the application I'm gonna need actually nine channels so I'll just select 
nine channels. Now close it, and one two three would be my RGB for the uh, for the RGB light, and now that's gonna be tilt and pan. And this is, I believe, this is a, a color, uh, and that's a brightness. So that, that that's actually strobe. So I just want to put it on solid color. And then we can pick a color here. Uh, eight will be oops. Eight will be gobo. Uh, nine. I don't actually know what nine is. Uh, doesn't really matter. Okay, maybe it's just four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so it's actually just five channels. So. One, two, three, four, five, so nine. We don't actually need nine, so let's just be selected. I mean, you can have up to 50, but that's pretty much the same as it was in the previous version. Um, let's just see what's new. So those channels move to the top, so it's sort of easy to select and then scroll. And uh, the same button, if you need more than 50 channels, you can, you can select it here. Um, so let's say you want to control from 300 to 351 and so and so so now up to 1 to um, to 50 okay so that's faders um, then joystick is similar as it was let's see scenes so um, you have scenes and you have chases in previous version now let's just create a scene so let's um, okay let's move Okay, so let's just put everything to the beginning and let's create a red color and let's move the lights to the right and slightly higher and let's give it a red color as well. Yeah, oh, that's it, red color. Uh, you probably can't see it very well because it's a bit blurred on the camera. Not blurred, but it, it burns the color. So. They're both set to, to red and to the right. So what we can do, we can go to scenes and we can save this as our scene. So, okay, and then let's set the light to green and let's move the hand to the other side. And let's make it green as well. Oops, that's, uh, so that's intensity. And uh, that's a green color. So again, you probably don't see the color very well. And let's save it as position two. Um, you have more, that there are four more scenes that you can um, save. And there are three more chases uh, in this current version. Um, the button clear, in, in previous version, if you would accidentally press it, it would actually clear the, the, the all the scenes but here uh, if you press it nothing happens you actually have to press and hold to to erase it and uh, don't really want to erase it now to wipe it wipe all the scenes so I don't want to erase it now so I'm gonna show you probably later on okay so we have scene number one it's red and the, the light pointing to the right hand side and scene number two both are green and they um, and then the moving light is on the uh, left. So here uh, in chase you have an um, option here to select a chase but for now there's only one chase program but in the future um, there'll be obviously more where you can have a list of chases and you can save different chases. At the moment there's only one um, but just to demonstrate so I'm gonna put scene one and scene two, and here I'm just gonna make. Uh, I want it to go in. I don't know. Let's say five seconds, and then here I want to be. Let's say another five seconds. So and I'm gonna just run this scene. So run this chase. So what happened here? Okay, it's gonna stay. The light's gonna stay for five seconds over there, and now it's gonna move, and it's gonna stay for five seconds over here. So obviously I can change the time. So if I stop it and let's do, sorry, click on the wrong things. Let's do two seconds and here let's do 
and let's leave it on to five. So, okay, run it. Okay, so on the red for two seconds, on the green for five seconds. Okay, on the red for two seconds, on the green. Okay, so I think you get the idea. You can obviously just um, do another red here and uh, let's say 10 seconds or create completely different team so uh, let's just do something else press the blue and let's be in the middle and actually let's do it and let's do this oh actually if I do less brightness here Maybe you'll be able to see the color. Okay, so that's blue. Not sure if you can see this. And uh, let's record it as scene three. So now, if we go to chase this, we can have number three. And not to waste so much time, we'll just do two seconds. And here in three, we're just gonna wait for uh, I'd say five. Oh, you know what? Do ten seconds. That's default. So now, if I run it. First two seconds on red, two seconds on green, and now it's gonna go to blue and it's gonna wait here for 10 seconds and then it's gonna start on scene number one. Uh, the bottom fade run smooth has been removed because it wasn't quite working very well. So it'll be added in, in the next version, in the future version, just um, obviously there needs to be a revision of, of the function. Uh, okay, so I just stopped the chase, and that's pretty much it. Then we have, obviously, we have. Oh, you, I'm just going to show you how to erase the, the the scene. So now I clear saved and hold it, and basically everything is cleared out. Um, okay, so now if we, yeah, everything is empty. So if we go to joy, let's close the scenes. Let's close the chase. If we go to joy, we can select. Um, uh, so let's do pan and tilt. So let's do four and five. So that should be our pan and tilt. Okay. And okay, let's make some light here. So uh, okay. So I just turn the light on, and then um, oops. So basically, you're moving, and the light responds with the joystick up and down. Then there's another button here you can latch so it always comes to the uh, home position which is in my case in the middle and wherever you take it and release it it goes back to the beginning. So that's pretty much it. Also, what the, um, there's a good feature that the um, the uh, there's a hot swap. So even if you lose connection, let's say the Bluetooth let you go too far away from the controller. Obviously, Bluetooth is limited with the with the distance. Um, I think they stated for 10 meters, but um, people say like. 15 meters, not problem, and this is what it says actually. Um, uh, lots of customers, this is what they said about this Dimex that they can do in a straight line 15 meters with no problems. So, let me show you this. So, if I disconnect it, let's go to phases so we can, we can control. Okay, just control this, and now if I disconnect it, the controller from the power and re plug it back in. we have back the connection which is great okay so even if we have oh I, I erased the scenes but just quickly create uh, just blinking scene so here white and here uh, black so let's do scene one, scene two, and let's do uh, blink for two seconds, 
few seconds. Okay. So let's run this. Okay, so it's blinking. And now when I disconnect it, it's obviously disconnected. And then I replug it back. It should pick up where it left off. Yep. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching guys.